What's up everyone, this is Kenny here from Professories. So today we're going to answer a question from the audience. Huh? The question sounds like this. Can anyone help another person to do stamping duty for their TA, TA here to tenancy agreement? One ma, that's one. Number two is, why do we need a duplicate set when can photo stat or scan online? So the first question, can anyone help you to actually stamp your tenancy agreement? The answer is yes. You are a landlord, right? You land out your property, the agent is the one take for stamping. Because the stamp duty fees, uh, your stamping fees uh, is paid by the tenant. So the agent will take and go and stamp the tenancy agreement, pass to tenant one copy, agency one copy, and you one copy. That's where the three copies come from. You can also stamp the tenancy agreement yourself. As a landlord, uh, you take back the tenancy agreement, you go online, you go to stamps online. LHDN stamps online. Google LHDN stamps online. Follow the instruction there, they will generate you an e stamp. The e stamp is one full page one. Uh, full page A4. You can just print, put on your tenancy agreement. That is the stamping. That is proof of stamping already. Okay? So if it's uh, three copies, then you print three copies and put lah, all three copies. Lah. Uh, actually, you don't need lah. You just download that one, one uh, e stamping, right? Then you just send to the agent and the tenant. Lah. That's it. This is LSDN e stamp. Okay, so back then, why uh, the second question? Why you still need to duplicate? Because now can scan online. Okay. Back then, before LSDN stamp, the procedure is that you must have three copies. Number one is the original copy. The other two is the duplicate to stamp at the LSDN office. The agent once received the payment, the stamping fees payment from the tenant, of course, will pay the runner to go to queue uh, in the LHDN office with three copies of tenancy agreement to stamp it physically. Uh, so any extra that copies is 10 ringgit. Ma. So the first original one, then 10 ringgit, 10 ringgit. If I remember the second, it's 10 ringgit, 10 ringgit. Okay? The agent won't go themselves. Uh, most of the agents uh, I know will use runner or they have an office admin to take care of this uh, administration stuff. So they don't have to focus on that. They can spend more time to sell. So, I understand where the confusion is coming from. Nowadays, now, stamping, even I myself ran out my property, right? I don't have the physical uh, tenancy agreement. What I did was that, no matter my agent did was that, take online stamp, the agent will stamp for you, and put inside the WhatsApp group. WhatsApp group got three of us, oh? me, tenant, and agent. Put inside there, that's it. All of us have our own copy. No, no need any single paper at all. Uh. Even sign, signing also sign uh, via e-signing, okay? Uh, that's, that's, that's valid anyway, no problem, as long as the stamp is valid, okay? So, it depends on, highly depends on your agent. Uh, your agent still doing the old school method because they can, frankly speaking, they can earn more. If you, the pay the tenancy, stamp tenancy fees, right, they usually earn some pocket money from there. Uh, and with regards to how much they charge her, uh, usually is the market rate uh, is about 30% of the rental, the monthly rental 30%. It can be higher, it can be lower, it depends on the agent. Uh. So, and it also depends on the agent uh, whether still doing uh, old school way where you need to sign three copies, physically sign three copies. Nowadays, I don't think the agent actually do this uh, because back then uh, you have to go and see the tenant and then uh, you have to take the three copies of tenancy agreement, go and see the owner, you know, to sign. No, not viable these days. Uh, all sign online, everything done already. Uh, no need to go to physical copies. Okay? So I hope that answers your question. Lah. And if you have got any further questions, do leave the questions down in the comment down below. Okay? If this video has been helpful, I appreciate it that you share this video out to your friends and family. Once again, this is Kenny here from Property Stories and I'll see you again next video. Bye-bye.